Hey there guys, LOI Games, and welcome back to some more. Don't take it personally, babe, it just ain't your story. Where we last left off, we got some terrifying news. Isabella seems to have committed suicide. Really, really sad about that. And I, f I found out that no matter what choice I made, uh, that wouldn't have changed. She would have still done it, so... Well, let's just continue onward, right? Okay. Okay. That just got... That just about wraps it up for this unit. I hope you all learned at least a little bit. I'd like you to note that the syllab... That the syllabus has been updated. We're going to avoid Twelfth Night... We're going to avoid Twelfth Night next. Not... We're going to be doing Twelfth Night next. Not Romeo and Juliet. Your libraries all have copy all have a copy of it already, but your homework for tonight is to not read the script. Don't read it at all. Don't even look at it. We're going to be watching the twenty We're gonna be watching the twenty two movie version. The twenty two movie version in class tomorrow, because the theater is meant to be seen. Then we'll be Then we'll look at the script. That is all. Strange. Normally I get caught off by the lunch bell ringing, but I guess it must be getting, I must be getting better at my timing. Nolan approves of this homework. Who wouldn't? Wait, why aren't we doing Romeo and Juliet? Is it because of Isabella? Holy shit. Yeah, Akira, it's because of Isabella. It's because of Isabella. Alright, you can all go to lunch a couple minutes earlier. There's a, there's a loud clamor as everyone leaves the classroom at once. Same as always, and the same as always. There are the students standing behind, staying behind. But lately, it's been less than before. Hey sis, I can't stick around today. Miss, Miss Mighton might, Miss Mighton wants to see me. Like now, for some stupid reason. I'll see you later, okay? Of course. It's not a problem. Good luck with her. Yeah, I'll need it. Laters. I guess it's just us then. Yeah. I take out my own lunch and start eating quietly. Charlotte does the same. An awkward silent hangs in the air though. So... Message. Hmm, Taylor, what do you have to say this time? Nolan, I'd like to apologize for treating you so poorly earlier. It's just that things have been going really rough for me, and I took that out on you. Sorry, I, sorry. I was a jerk. I really want to be on good terms with you again. Can we talk about it, please? I really want to put this behind us and be friends again. I would be really hesitant, but I guess you should do it, Nolan. Just to get it all behind you, I guess. Yes? Oh wait, our thing's glowing. Do we have another email? We do. Right. Could I please have any contact information on f on, fi on file for Isabella Hart? She's been absent for several days and I've been gonna... Look, I'm sorry, but we have gonna... Oh, it's t okay, so it's basically just... Should have read that earlier then. It was telling me about um, how we couldn't get into contact with her. Well, that's uh, that puts quite a bit of sadness there, I would say. Quite a bit. Alright. Yes? Um, she stops uncomfortably, and I can tell she wants to say something, but can't bring herself to. Okay. Not right now, though. I'm with Akira. We can talk later. Like I said, just talk it out and see what you guys can fix. Hopefully, you guys can fix it. It doesn't seem like a major issue. Just high school drama, I guess you could say. So, how is the Twelfth Night? Is it good? I guess it depends on whether or not you like Shakespeare. Yeah, kind of. He's not as bad as everyone says, anyway. Well then, 
Well, then you'll probably find it very funny. Ah, that's good. More silence. That's obviously not what she really wanted to ask. Lord Taylor stuff. What did she say this time? Of course, you should put him over me. That's alright. I'm really glad you're happy with him. By the way, I was so worried because I know you I know you're not gay, but I'm glad you're able to make him happy in spite of that. It can't be easy. That's very brave of you. Why don't we why don't we get together Monday at lunch? There are more there are some things I need to say that I think need to be said in person. Again, I'm, I'm very hesitant to, like, agree with Taylor, but, you know, I can't take this anymore. I'm just going to ask her. Is there something wrong, Charlotte? No, not at all. I'm fine. I give her a look. It's just... This is a weird question, Mr. Rook, but do you think she was telling the truth? Who? Oh, Kendall. She said she was going to talk to a teacher, but do you think maybe she's just lying so that she could avoid me? And Nolan replies, Okay, I understand. Let's do that. Alright, well, it looks like they're going to have a little chat Monday. What's today? I can't remember what today is. I'm taken aback by the question. I don't think so, of course, but... Why would she think that? Why do you ask that? Why do you ask that? Does she seem like she would do that? I don't know. But even now that we're talking again, she's always seemed so reluctant to actually really talk with, with me. Got another message. It's a date then. It's not a date. You're just talking. So desperate. We never really said anything of value, and it always feels like she's uncomfortable being around me. And it's not like she's talking to me on Amy, either. I guess that's true, now that she mentions it. Although, I don't think her underst- I don't think her understanding is quite right. Well, as much as anyone can understand Kendall. I don't think she actually can't stand me anymore. I feel like I should just ask, I should just talk to her and tell her that she doesn't have to make excuses. Would you really do that? No, because I'm selfish. Selfish? She stops, as if only now she realized what she's been saying. As if only now she realized how emotionally vulnerable she clearly is. Promise me. You, not to promise not to repeat a word of this, Mr. Rook. Of course not. I. She still has trouble coming up with words. I. Were you aware that we used to be a couple? We only broke up a few weeks ago. Well, I have to stop myself from saying, of course. I have to give it a moment's thought. I knew it, of course, but how did I know it? Did I read it about did I read about it on ME Connect or did someone also mention it in front of me? I'm gonna save here. I don't know what to say. If I say I knew it, mm, I'll just try to be honest. It's a little hard not to know, isn't it? Yeah. Have you ever have you ever had a perfect thing before, Mr. Rook, and ruined it? Man, what a question. More than once, actually. I'd love to say it gets easier, but it doesn't. No, I'd imagine not. Still, I miss everything about the way things were. Kendall is just so perfect. Are you still in love with her? I don't know. How can I tell when you're in love? How can you tell when you're in love? Is it just like the songs are all in the movies? If it's not like that, does it mean it's not- I'm not in love? 
tough questions. Yeah, tell me about it. All I know is that I can't bring myself to give up on her, even though she's clearly not interested in me anymore. Maybe that's how you know it's love, because it just makes me act awful. I stare at her, giving it a little thoughtful pause. She's wrong, of course. She seems unusually dense, too. I can tell that Kendall wouldn't be friendly just for the sake of appearances. I think anyone could tell that. What she sees in her, I have no idea. And when I don't want to play either as matchmaker or cheerleader for teenage girls. But I don't get how she could be so wrong. Why not just ask if you want to go out, go back out, get back together? She seems stunned at the proposition. I don't think you understand, Mr. Rook. I was the one who broke up with her. If anyone has to make a move, it's her. It's out of my hands. Well, what's the harm in trying? What's the worst that could happen? I could lose her. I could cause her just finally stop even trying to put up with me at all. I can't. I can't. She takes a long, deep sigh, trying her hardest to calm herself back down. I feel bad for getting her so worked up. I guess that wasn't the right approach for her at all. Damn it. I don't want to lose her. Well, I pause again, considering my approach. You said you weren't sure what love feels like, right? That's right. Well, in my experience, it means you know it's worth the risk. Love means that you'll try anything, even if you know for absolute certain you'll get shot down, because you have to. In all my experiences, that's what it seems. That's what it seems that. That's what it seems that love is really about. So, I think that's what it comes down to. Are you still in love with her? She's silent. I can't tell if she's contemplating the question or just thinking that I'm crazy. It's probably a little both. A little of both. She looks down and there's a long silence. Neither, neither of us say it, neither says a word, and I don't know what to say. After what feels like the longest time without saying anything, at long last, Kendall returns. Sorry, bro. Am I interrupting something? Charlotte takes a moment to calm down. Uh, no, not at all. We were just talking about the play. We were going to be studying. Ah, oh, balls already? For reals? I'm afraid so. It's time to get to class. Yeah, yeah, obs. She starts to leave just as soon as she came back, and Charlotte starts packing up too. Hey, Charlotte. Yes, Mr. Rook? Then I try to think of what to tell her. Let us save. Savings is important in this game. It really is. So we can either tell her to trust me and take and trust me that Kendall's interested or wish her good luck. Mm, I'm going to wish her good luck. Good luck, Charlotte. Thanks, Mr. Rook. She turns around and walks off to join Kendall. I lean back, staring at what is left of my lunch. Half is still left sitting on my desk. One intense conversation. I never thought Charlotte. I never thought about Charlotte that way before. She's always just been smart, the smart, focused one. I can only wonder how long, how long things will work out. But I'm sure. But I sure hope it's well. That's evening. Uh, before we do anything, I think I'm going to end it here, guys. Anyway, like and favorite if you enjoy. Subscribe to become part of the archives, and I'll see you all later. Peace out.